Hello everyone. Welcome to this channel. Today is April 14, 2024. The Lord titled this vision dream, Rockets Galore. The scripture he gave me is Revelation 6, verses 3 and 4, which read, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. This is a dream vision that I received on September 15th of 2019 at 12 midnight. In light of what is currently taking place in the Middle East, I felt it was time to post the dream vision that the Lord had given me back in 2019. This had not been previously posted. On the night of September 15th, 2019, at 12 midnight, I was asleep in my bed. My wife was having some difficulty sleeping, so she was silently reading on her phone. I know now that the Lord had kept her awake for a reason, to be a witness and to record what was about to take place. She turned the brightness on her phone all the way down so as not to disturb me. She noticed a short time later, at approximately 12.15 a.m., that I began making some movements in my sleep. After a few minutes, she could tell at that point that I was dreaming since the movements had become quick, sharp, and abrupt, lifting my arms up and down and my legs making small, sudden, abrupt kicks. I then started making verbal sounds and noises like gasps and short, startled cries. She noted that the sounds had become louder and more distressed like groans and cries. At that point, she was debating whether to wake me up or not, as it seemed to her that I was having a very distressing dream or nightmare. Just as she was about to wake me up, she saw that I had become very still and motionless. My breathing had become quick, little, short breaths. She waited and then picked up her phone and noted that the time was 12.25 a.m. and then turned it off. After a minute or so of me being fairly still and quiet, she felt my hand reach over and touch her arm. I then asked her if she was awake, and she replied yes, and I asked if I was okay. I said, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. It started. She asked me, what are you seeing? What started? I exclaimed, the war. The war. The war with Iran. I'm seeing it. It's happening right now before my eyes. And she said, what? You're seeing it? I exclaimed, yes. I don't know how. I was just dreaming it, and now I'm seeing it while I'm awake. She asked, so what are you seeing? And I said, it's so bad. It's so bad. I can't believe it. At this point, I began to cry as I started to tell her what I was seeing as it was happening. I cried, it's so bad. It's so bad. No, dear Lord, no. It's too much. It's night. It's dark. I'm seeing hundreds, maybe thousands of rockets flying all over the place. It's so bad. It's unbelievable. At this point, she said, I began sobbing and weeping and was overcome with great emotion as I tried to continue telling her what I was seeing. I cried, there are rockets flying everywhere. They're going in all different directions. I'm up high, up above the Persian Gulf. I'm looking down and I see Iran, Iraq, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and some other countries. Rockets are flying all over the place. From Iran to Israel, from Israel to Iran, from Iran to U.S. ships in the Persian Gulf, and from the ships to Iran. They're flying back and forth between the ships in the Persian Gulf. I see ships being hit. I see U.S. flags that look like they're marking U.S. base locations in Iraq, Saudi Arabia, UAE, and other places. I'm seeing them being hit one by one and then the flag disappears. She said, I went on 
like this for several minutes, just weeping and sobbing and saying over and over, I can't believe it. Oh, God, no. Please help. It's so bad. No. No. It's too much to watch. Please, God. I can't bear to watch it anymore. I then asked the Lord to please let it stop, and he did. And the vision ended. After getting up and walking around for a few minutes and getting a glass of water, I then lied back down on the bed and we prayed. As I laid there thinking about all I had just seen, I then heard the Lord say these words to me, This is it. This is the start. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please like and share if led by the Lord to do so. Please see the description box for the transcript of this word. And if there's anyone out there who's not come to the Lord Jesus, repent now. Ask for forgiveness and surrender your life to him. Time is short. Thank you and God bless you. Bye for now.